day two at DFS Crufts and it was the working and pastoral dogs that took centre stage in their bid to win a place in the last seven for the best in show on Sunday. Throw in some agility, fly ball and heel to music and it promised to be an action packed day at Crufts. Dogs love nothing more than going for a run, so Canucks, canine cross country, is the perfect activity. Tapping into a dog's natural instinct to run means Canucks requires little training for the dog, but perhaps a bit more for his master. The rapidly growing sport has attracted a high level of athletes such as Jenny Brown, a Masters World and European heptathlon champion. I've always been involved in track and field athletics and I've taken part in a lot of world and European Masters championships and I think in total I've uh, won about 65 different titles. Unfortunately three years ago I had a car accident and it's put paid to certainly my high jumping um, and maybe heptathlon days. So Tigo was a 50th birthday present for me and he needed a lot of exercise. I needed a new challenge so we, we started running together and found the sport of mechanics. And it's just great, I love it. It's never too early to develop a relationship with your canine friend and the Young Kennel Club is a perfect place for young dog lovers to learn new skills, build confidence and make new friends. One of the youngest competitors here at DFS Crufts is 10-year-old Robin Arnold working with Gordon. Competing in the 6 to 11 years handling competition, Robin took first prize. I was really nervous at the start and now I'm really happy at um, I just like practice like standing him and going around him so he can stay there and like doing triangles and just doing practice. I was 6 when I started and I started it because my nan and pap used to do it so they got me Crufts is abound with stories where the dog really has proved to be man's best friend and nothing could be more true than in the case of Gary Hain. Sort of four or five years ago I'd ended up on the street um, and in Cardiff I ended up selling the big issue for a couple of years um, which was an education in itself. I got involved with people that I shouldn't have done um, and got in trouble with the police um, which in the end was a bit of a turning point for me because it made me open my eyes and realise that I needed to sort my life out. Um, my mum was already into showing dogs. It was something that I was then able to get into with German Shepherds. Um, and for the last sort of three years now, I have shown at Crust, which has been quite an achievement really. It definitely turned my life around showing the dogs. Um, it gave me direction, gave me a purpose again. Um, you know, because things were really bad and the dogs gave me a focus. In a really competitive class, Gary and 18-month-old Ventress took a well-earned fourth. I feel Ventress went really well. Uh, I thought she was better than reserve. I thought she was a good third in there, really. Um, you know, but it's not my decision at the end of the day. Um, Ventress went well, she stood well, she moved well. She did everything that was asked of her. I couldn't have asked for more, really. So I was really pleased. Agility was first introduced to Crufts in 1978, and there's been little change to the format. The fast and furious competition tests the animal's fitness with the handler's ability to train and direct the dog over and around obstacles. It's a perennial crowd favourite and it was Wendy Clay that won the Agility Small Challenge teaming up with Scout. Fantastic, really enjoyed it. I had a bit of a oops this morning, didn't get a clear this morning which is disappointing but won it this afternoon. So bad. Max, the six-year-old boxer from Barclay, is no stranger to the podium, winning the pastoral group for the second time with his owner, Julie Brown. I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed, really, because this is the second time he's done this. He did do it last year, the year before. Um, we lost our partner last year, and she would have been absolutely delighted to see him do it again. But we're absolutely overwhelmed, because he's a fantastic nature dog. He just is. He's a, he's a lovely pet. He lies on the sofa in the day, and he's just absolute showman. With over 35 breeds in the pastoral group, competition was tight and it was Stephen Cox working with Elmo that stole the show and secured his place in the grand finale on Sunday. 
feeling absolutely on top of the world. Um, Elmo was the top winning pastor of the border last year, so to come to Crufts in the pinnacle is just fantastic. It's an amazing uh, feeling right now. We're going to celebrate heavy tonight, that's for sure. <laughs>